Uh, visual effects have certainly come a long way since Leonardo da Vinci's day. I mean, they didn't exist. They didn't exist. If you saw an explosion, you just ran, you ran away. Although, uh, judging by some of the wilder stuff we've uncovered when researching our show, no doubt there's a yet-to-be-discovered notebook page somewhere that details his ideas for the first ever computer graphics. Let's take a look at the four very worthy nominations. Special visual and graphic effects. Until it got really close. Zoom, Fido, Colossus. David Attenborough's Natural History Museum, a live 3D. And then it pounced. Blue Bolt, Rushes, Peaky Blinders. Hollingworth Photography, British Technical Films, Colossus, Micro Monsters with David Attenborough, Predator. She has turned it into a net. She strikes. She stretches a net over her prey and then wraps it in silk. And in that battle, there was a man with more blood on his hands than any other. A man who would commit a crime that would silence the universe. And that man was me. Milk visual effects, real special effects, the model unit, Doctor Who, the day of the Doctor. After goes to Milk Visual Effects, Real Special Effects, the model unit for Doctor Who, the Day of the Doctor. There's a lot of people coming on stage with this. Um, thank you very much, BAFTA. Uh, it does take a considerable amount of people to uh, create a show like Day of the Doctor. Um, there's a lot of people to thank, but I'd like to thank Stephen Moffat, Faith Penhale, and Marcus Wilson, um, and Julie Scott for uh, continually supporting us and for believing in us for Milk Visual Effects. We set up a company last June, and this was our first job, so it's a bit of a fairy tale for us. Um, and now I'm going to hand over to Danny from Real SFX. Okay. Thank you. Um, wow. An immense honour to be standing here in front of you. Uh, I've worked here on Doctor Who for a number of years and uh, it's just amazing. Um, the guys and girls you see behind me are truly talented and I feel honoured to be standing here. So I just want to say a huge thank you to my team here tonight from Real SFX. Without them I wouldn't be here. So I just want to say a big thank you. And also to my wife, because if I don't say thank you, I'm not going home tonight. So I just want to say a big thank you to her and my family. So um, I'm going to hand it over to Mike now. So. I'd just like to say a huge thanks to Marcus for involving miniatures in a world that's increasingly digital. I'd like to thank my fantastic team who are over there, my wife for putting up with me and planning our wedding while I was making this, and to BAFTA for arranging this on my 50th birthday. That is fantastic. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I mean, we've, I feel uh, privileged to be here anyway, and then in front of all our peers and stuff. So it's exciting, very, very exciting. And I'm sure for these guys as well. So tell yeah. me, tell me of what happens on set when you're kind of in charge of the exciting part, so to speak. Uh, well, Danny's often on set. Mike's <laughs> often on set. I'm back in the office. Murray, who's the visual effects supervisor over there, he's on set. Uh, a fair amount, it's, uh, um, and it's, it's a big it's, team yeah, collaboration. It's a, team. it's a huge team, and, and Will's got a huge team, and you know it's it's a real sort of uh, team effort. And we're so proud here. To be yeah, it's the together. collaboration between all the various bits that makes it work so well. But how do you know every series? Like, okay, we've got to outdo last series. That's quite a difficult thing, That's surely. The game. 
that's always the game. I think as things continue, people want to do it uh, bigger, better, bolder. And then you get something like the 50th comes along, and the ambition for that was huge. I think everyone who worked on it had absolutely no idea it was going to be watched by 77 million people. I mean, I've had all sorts of numbers. <laughs> yeah. I think it was 77. I think it was well, more than that. It was absurd, actually, that weekend. Yeah. It was a big celebration of it. Uh, everyone seemed to be watching it and tweeting about it. I remember reading Russell Crowe was tweeting in the cinema with his kids. Yeah. So it was kind of utterly insane. And then they throw an extra challenge in, oh, and by the way, do it in 3D. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That, that we spoke tough. about that real for about tough. a year. Yeah. Real, real tough. But when you get the kind of challenge of doing all that, does it excite you or does it terrify you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, that, that particular episode was full of challenges, you know, for my department and these guys as well. I mean, but that's what makes it so magical, you know, to be linked to such a historic day. A historic show. I mean, it's an absolute dream. So yeah, really, really, really it was brilliant. exciting and terrifying. Yeah, you terrifying, sit there going, terrifying. "How are you going to do it?" And then you think, "Well, okay, we are going to do it." And also, are you all fans of the show anyway? Did you grow up watching it? I certainly did. I mean, I, I was a like ten-year-old boy watching the show and thinking that looks like a cool job. Well, uh, I grew up watching it. Tom Baker uh, and John Pertwee. See, I was then, too young. I was too yeah. young. I didn't really have anyone. Uh, Sylvester McCoy was my last doctor, and then all of a sudden it was Christopher Eccleston, so I was kind of deprived of it. But no, it's, uh, I've certainly got into it now, but uh, not, I'm not as old as these guys. No. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Yeah.